the fourth heaven the world of fallen angels and dwarves demons of Persia, welcome brothers and sisters, our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this world's darkness, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms, welcome to this Surrey of worlds and kingdom of Lucifer in space where we are overviewing the prince of air in the firmament who took over the physical dimension, they are perpetrating a war raging for a thousand of years against the human world and the world of men, today we will look at the kingdom of Persia in the second heaven where there are gods of sky and planetary divinity dominating the space, they are responsible for weather disturbance for they cause natural disaster through tornado, hurricane and torrential rain. The Lord instructed me to fast for seven days in order to show me things, in fact the Lord told me clearly that I would die during this seven days of fasting and prayer and he would show me reality of the afterlife, I fasted and prayers instructed by the Lord, it was really tough, I thought my body would not be able to survive without food for many days, I went on to do many days of fasting and prayer, and on that day when I died, I landed on a very long boulevard which was endless, as I stood observing this long boulevard, suddenly I saw a numbers of short people, they were coming with speed and they were holding chains, these were actually dwarves demons, and these demons were running towards me in order to bind me in chains that they were holding in their hand, however, I stood there in confusion wondering what is the meaning of this, what is happening and who are these short people. Actually I did not know that I was dead and I was in the spirit world beyond the grave, I saw that when these dwarves got closer, they say to one another, this one is not ours she is not ours, her soul does not belong to us we cannot capture him, immediately I saw them going away with their chains, I was overwhelmed by the whole thing, I wonder who are these dwarves and why are they holding these chains, and why are they saying that I don't belong to them. Immediately I heard the voice of the Lord, actually in this death experience I could feel God standing by my side and holding my hand but I could not see him, I heard God telling me, my daughter these dwarves that you had seen with chains coming to bind you are demon, they are among the spirit of Satan that work in the afterlife, the Lord said, whenever a man died without Christ these dwarves are among the many demons that come with chains to bind the deceased souls and take him to the abode of the deads. They came to take you because they thought you were without Christ, and they thought you belonged to Satan so that they would capture you and bind you and take you to hell, when they saw that you don't belong to them they could not capture your soul, when I realized that I was dead I was stunned, I came to understand that when a man die without Christ he will be captured and chained by demon and taken to hell, and the dwarves demon who are also called the demon of Persia are among the demon that work in the afterlife to capture souls of the deads, dwarves are a certain kind of invisible being in the pre-Christian mythology and religion, ancient descriptions of these beings is that they are of small stature, the dwarves are pitch black in appearance and live underground a place which was probably thought of as a labyrinthine complex of mines and forges. The dwarves are most often noted for being extremely skilled smiths and craftspeople, the dwarves are occasionally called black elves and in some instances they're described as being dead or resembling human corpses, beloved, I was in magic in the past, near the beginning of the year 1972. I had a friend with whom I shared all of my sorrows and joys, except for the secret of my occultic powers. One day, the spirits told me that this friend had had a spell cast upon him and that his death had already been decided. Since I liked him a lot, I had compassion on him and asked the spirits if there were a way to save him. Anything was possible according to them, but in order to do that it was necessary for him to live through the scene of his death, before he could be saved. I was asked to go out with him one Saturday night, in order to return home later in the evening. That day, on the way home, we were to go through a small valley before returning to our house. While we were on the other side of the hill, we saw some people far off surrounding a corpse and weeping. We came near, noticing that this gathering was located within the valley, not at the village. Suddenly we realized that the lifeless body was my friend's who was however alive by my side, having seen this he was seized with fright and turned to embrace me under the weight of emotion. At the same time, we saw on a nearby tree, an entirely naked man climbing the tree while leaning on his posterior. 
After careful examination, we recognized him to be the customary chief of our village. He saw that we had recognized him but he did not want to let us go. He laid a trap to take our lives by means of a demon who was waiting for us nearby. Since I was in perfect communication with my spirits, I was immediately warned of the danger we were in. I asked them for immediate protection. I saw then a dwarf, carrying a very big package on his head. We had just barely avoided him, for it was this dwarf demon who had been charged with the mission of destroying us. His package contained the spirits of all the people who had been killed by the village sorcerers, and this dwarf demon of Persia was their supreme chief. My friend was very frightened of all these things we had seen, and it was not possible for him to sleep by himself, so I brought him home with me. There are four powers of Satan position on the four corners of the earth, these are the dwarves. These four demons are positioned in the four corners of the earth, they are macrocephalic and they have huge head. These are demons of Persia kingdom, their hand and eyes, are meters longs, when they are moving they actually pull their hand, I have worked for them for twenty years, right from the beginning the devil said to the first dwarf that he has established on the first corner of the earth, you will bewitch the air that people breath, for no man living on the earth can survive without breathing, the purpose of the first dwarf was to bewitch the air that people breath on the earth because no human live on the earth without breathing the air. This dwarf is capable of injecting sickness, bad luck, and curse in the air that we breathe on the earth, thus the oxygen that we inhale every day on the earth is a tool and a channel of manipulation, the devil said to the second dwarf deployed on the second corner of the earth, you will bewitch the soil because no one can live in the earth without walking on the ground, the devil said to the third dwarf, you will bewitch and manipulate all the water of the earth because human are dependent of water people of the earth can do without water, they drink water, they wash with water, they cook with water, and water is 70% of the earth, even water that we drink is used as a tool of manipulation by the dark world, the fourth dwarf that the devil deployed on the fourth corner of the earth was supposed of to bewitch fire, for every day human use fire in order to cook, a dwarf is a mythical creature, appearing most frequently in Norse mythology. Humanoid in form but short and stocky, they are connected with the earth and are often said to be miners, engineers, and craftsmen. The dwarf is also common in Germanic mythologies. The dwarf is an example of creatures who have some mystery attached to them, some ability or nature that transcends the known world, suggesting the existence of creatures and a world beyond this physical realm. Brothers I had this experience which was not ecstasy but a vision. The angel of the Lord appeared to me, and told me we are to travel to the firmament. He asked me, what do you understand by the firmament, I did not answer him. The angel said, the firmament is the city of Necro and the world of lost men. The angel asked, who are the Necro and who are the lost men, he told me. The Necro are the fallen angels, the Lord called them Necro because they have no value before him. Those have fallen from heaven have no value before God and they are called necro, thus the firmament is the dwelling of those who have fallen from heaven, then the angel told me, the firmament is also the city of the lost men. The angel said. The lost men are spirit that are called dwarves, they are people who are not different from men but they are of short size and the Lord called them lost men because they live in the bush in the firmament, they have supernatural strength and they reveal themselves to human. In the kingdom of the dwarves I saw no houses, no roads, no city, but I saw gold, jewelry, precious stones and white garment. The angel said, when these dwarves are to be manifested to men they put on these white garment and reveal themselves to men. In their kingdom I saw precious stones that were shining. The angel told me, I will reveal to you the purpose of these precious stones in the end of the message. I saw gold, silver in this kingdom. The angels told me the dwarves and the fallen angels are mediators between Lucifer and men, Satanists meet them in order to get to the devil. The angel of the Lord told me that the angels that had fallen from heaven do not live in the same dimension with the dragon, they are at the entry of the firmament where there is thick fog, and in order to get to the realm of Lucifer in the fifth heaven and the dimension of the dragon you have to go through the city of the fallen, which is surrounded by a thick fog in the firmament. 
The angel told me that these necro and these lost men are extremely dangerous and they are worshipped by servant of the devil, the Bible say, do not be afraid, Daniel, he said, for from the first day that you purposed to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them, however, the prince of the kingdom of Persia opposed me for twenty-one days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I had been left there with the kings of Persia, then the angel of the Lord said, after visiting the realm of the Necro and the lost me we would have to travel to the kingdom of the dragon, when we were about to leave the kingdom of the fallen, called the Necro, there was a powerful wind blowing, I was told by the angel that this wind serve as transport of the spirit, the angels told me these spiritual forces of space that we had visited are the one who are responsible for weather disturbance, for they cause hurricane, tornado and bad weather causing destruction on the surface of the earth, the prince of air used weather as a weapon of destruction against humanity, as a result of the insurrection of the angels in heaven, many heretical and apostate angels were driven out of their homeland, many of the angels who were chased from heaven did not land on earth but they fell into the black emptiness beyond the border of the kingdom of heaven, into the firmament, yet, the attention of the fallen is not set on the third heaven the dwelling of God, but rather on earth, since they lost the world war in heaven, they know that any attempt to launch an assault and a new war at the gate of heaven will fail. Indeed the third heaven is the dwelling of God, therefore, the angels that had fallen from heaven, whose residence is in the firmament have their attention on the earth the human world. These rebellious angels in the firmament are the forces and power that govern the whole universe, brother and sister, when I saw these fallen angels in the second heaven I was blown away by their beauty. These angels are made of light, their bodies were built with precious stones that radiate and shine with great light, they were radiant and bright, God did not take away their power and beauty, they are the ones who influence the whole earth, they took control of the whole earth and they dominate the world of men. They are responsible for the evil that reigns on earth, they do not necessarily descend to the earth to execute evil, in fact they have impure spirit called demons, who are under their command and orders, these rebellious angels have deployed billions of unclean spirits on the earth, these impure spirit who are demons receive instruction and order from these heretical and apostate angels, who reside to the firmament in the kingdom of Persia, they have billions of demons who carry out their will. Thus there are billions of demons who operate on the face of the earth, who receive orders and instructions from these powerful fallen angels, who are stationed in space in the second heaven. These demons have no body, they can cross the wall and the physical element, but these evil forces keep their distance from Christians, in fact when a man gives his life to Jesus, he receives the Holy Spirit in him. The presence of the Holy Spirit makes the person fiery, ardent and inflamed. The people who have the Spirit of God have fire in them and they are kindled, therefore when those disembodied spirit who are demons meet a Christian who has the Holy Spirit, they keep away, they deviate and change the road to avoid the flame of fire in the believer, the Bible say, John was a lamp that was burning and that was giving light, and you were willing for a season to bask in his light, however when the person who is in Christ live and sin. These impure spirit deployed by the fallen angels can enter his life, we must note that fallen angels order these demons to perpetrate the evil and destroy the men on the surface of the earth, they cause chaos and bloodshed on the earth, they are at the cause of the war and armed conflict on the earth, immediately I saw all the earth in trouble because of billions of those evil spirits who receive orders from the fallen angels, these impure spirit have invested and besieged the whole earth. I have seen wars in the land of the earth because of these unclean spirits, I was then sent to tell humanity, in order to escape these demons they need an honest and sincere repentance, the world is in trouble because of demon, I saw crimes and atrocity of war, how the innocents are slaughtered, I saw young men in armed robbery because of the demons that influenced them, demons influence men to marry men, women to marry women, yet male beast never sleeps with the male beast. The female beast never sleeps with the female beast, how a man that God created in my image and likeness has come down to this level of unnatural sexual practice, women have changed the natural use into the one that is unnatural, and in the same way men, 
abandoning the natural use of women, have inflamed one another in their desires, committing a man with a man of infamous things.